Welcome to Ember and Cole's English Springer Spaniel Family Channel. Today we're going to be talking about this dog brick puzzle box. It's a number two skill level. We have not tried this yet. It's by Outward Hound and it's a dog brick flip side and treats. Ember and Cole have not tried it. Ember got it for Christmas for her and Cole. And we're going to try it today. I know it is now spring and we haven't tried it yet, but we've been busy with other things. So we're going to give it a try today. First, Ember's going to try it. And then Cole, I bought some treats here that I'm going to put in. I cut up some hot dog and heat it in the microwave with, has a little, little liver in there. So I'm going to put a few of those. Hi, the hot dog and the cheese here are something they don't usually have. So I'm thinking maybe that'll help them want to hunt it down more. But I'm going to get the instructions out and unbox it here. You can all have a look at and see what it looks like. So here is the picture on the box back of the box. You can see they're putting treats in the middle here that lift and then some flip ones here as well. So we'll try in a few different locations, see what they can get here. Fill them. It says to fill them, place it, and give it to them. Place treats or kibble in a compartments of the base sliding blocks. Cover the middle compartments with the bones. The more covered compartment, the harder the puzzle is. So maybe we'll leave some uncovered. Let the games begin. Show your dog how the game works and encourage them for the treats. So we're going to give that a try today. But this is what it looks like. It came right out of the box like this. These pieces are just covering it. So I'm just assuming Ember could just bang it over with her nose. These she's got to flip up. Get her treat out. And this one as well just flips out. These slide across. So if she moves the middle, I'm assuming she can slide this across and get her treat out. Also comes with instructions in here. I think it gives some helpful tips and tricks. Here it talks about a confused pup, mental block, paws off. We'll give this a little read and I'll give you the highlights of this, but it says to help reduce undesired behaviors. The camera's having a hard time focusing on it. I'll see if I can put it somewhere it can focus better. But anyways, I'll read you some of these things here. So strengthen the bond with your dog, help reduce undesired behaviors. By putting your dog to work with a puzzle or game, you are focusing their attention on energy eff effectively, ultimately reducing boredom and destruction destructive behaviors. Puzzles are also a great way to distract dogs from fireworks, thunderstorms, and other situations where your dog may get anxious. Create balance in your dog's life. Anyways, this looks like it's really good. It shows you the different levels. Level one, one simple step to uncover. So we didn't get those ones. Those just have the flip here, this orange one here with the white tops. Level two is what we got. And then the level three is the ultimate test. Challenge your dog with a sequence of steps to reach each tasty re reward. So they've got to move, flip, and then they get their treat out. I think we'll try Ember here first, and then we'll bring Cole out and see who does the best. So we talk about a mental block. Remove blocks. Removal blocks can be used to increase or decrease difficulty level. Tie a string through the holes in the blocks to make it easier for your dog to remove. Oh, this is especially helpful for bulldogs and other short-nosed dogs. We'll try it without and see if we need to use it. This is a confused pup. Start simple. Fill a couple of tree compartments and leave one or two open. Smear a little peanut butter on the game for dogs that aren't initially interested. I think these guys will be interested. They love treats, Cole especially. See, maybe Ember will just sit there and Cole can try, but usually they both want to do it. So I may have to put one inside, but we'll give it a try. I'm just going to set up the treats here in just a sec. Okay, so I set up the board here. It's hard to see, um, but I've just, I'm just going to leave it really easy to start. I'm going to put a couple in the middle here and I'm going to cover this yummy one. And the hot dog, I think, is a high one. I think I'm going to leave these tops open so it makes it easier to remove there. We'll see how Ember does. Ember said she's going to go first. Cole's going to sit and sit, stay over there or stand, stay. Ember's going to try. Ember, what do you think? What's in here? Give it a try. What do you think? Ember's just warming up, she says. She can smell the treats. Good girl. Let's see if she can figure this out. Look, it's in there. It's there. What about this one? Can you try that one? You get it up. She's going to check it all out and see what she can do. Here, try it. Look. I think maybe the string might be a good idea. I'll have to see if she can flip it. I'm going to put a few in the flip and see if she can flip them open. We'll try that next. Okay, so I filled all the little flips. I'm going to close them now. We're going to see what happens. I'm going to remove 
Maybe I will stick that one back on just in case. And we'll see. Ah, ah, we're trying to steal them already. But I'm going to flip them back over and see how she does here with nothing. And then if she can open them. Okay, we're giving it a try. Go get the cookies. Yes. Here, I'll give you one to start. Go get it. Good girl. Cool state. Good girl. Did you get one? Look, there's a hot dog. Look, right there. She's got two. Let's see if she can sniff anymore. I think it's going to be a work in progress. Maybe we should have got the easy. Good girl. Yes. She's definitely working it like she's sniffing, seeing what she can find. Here. There we go. Good girl. Try the other side. Here, try another one. There's more. See? Can you do this one? You do it. Let me do it. Look. Remember. <gasps> Good girl. That's it. Do the next one. Do this one. Do it. Two treats left. She did get some open herself, but she's not sure if she wants to do any more. I think we'll give it a rest. We'll let her get these two last ones so she knows what it's about, and then we'll try coal. <gasps> oh, you got that one. I didn't see. There is that one. Look. There you go. <laughs> you got them all. I didn't even see. Okay, Cole, is it your turn? You're drooling over there. Look at that drool dangling off your chin. Oh, Cole, it's right down to your chest. Yuck. Okay, so I filled this one up with coal for coal. I left some open, some in the middle. I'm not going to put the little white tops on. We'll wait and try that the next time. I'm going to put it down. Okay, Cole, come. Come, Cole. Good boy. I think I need to make the treats smaller maybe so they go further, but that's okay. boy. It's a great first start. I bet you the next time they're faster and faster. Oh, he opened that one. Good boy. Remember? I don't have to move it with his nose. Good boy. He's going to take the whole thing with his teeth. Oh, I didn't even notice. Look, when you slide them over, there's spots underneath. I will fill those next time. Maybe instead of the flips, he can push them over. Yes, good boy. Oh, we're going to make this one harder for you, Cole. This is really good, buddy. Next time, I'll put some under both. I need... Oh, the other side, Cole. This side. Cole, here. Cole is an expert. Cole needed the hard one. This here. Look right there. Yeah, like that. Oh, Cole, Cole, don't eat it. Good boy. Okay, I'm going to make it harder for Cole and he can try again. Okay, so this time I made it harder for Cole. I put under each one just a small treat. And then I put them inside. I'm going to put one of these white things on and see if he can get it. But there's smaller treats and everything. We'll see how he does. He was getting expert level there, I think. Come on, Cole. On birthday. Cole, come. Cole, cookies. Whoa, free food. I'm afraid Cole's going to flip it over when he can't get them out. <laughs> Lucky that's good. You can slide them. Good boy. This is a great one for Cole. There you go. Look. In the middle. That one open easy. Good boy. You get some more?
Here, this way. Look like that. Wait, it's stuck. There, look. It's good to help them a little bit. This is our first time really with these puzzle puzzle box kind of idea. Um, Cole has never done it before. He's very, as you can see, food motivated, so he's really enjoying it. Amber, I think, needs a little more encouraging, and she'll be good at it. So I'll try her one more time, but Cole has mastered the slide, that's for sure. And he's pretty good with the flip, as long as he doesn't try to... What's in this one? And try to eat it. Do that. So I'm going to pick the whole thing up. Cole! Cole! Cole got it. Let's see if there's teeth marks in that one. Is there teeth marks, Cole? No, a lot of slobber. No teeth marks. Open it, look. Look. Oh, no, look. You got that one. What about this one? There, I opened two for you. You try to get the rest. Look, cool. Cool, look. Remove that. See? Look, look there. There, in the middle. Very well. I think he's got everything now. That one's empty. That one's empty. Cool, I think you got it all. Oh, cool, I found one more. Yep, right there. And you took the top off. Look in here. Look, look, no, here. Look there. Cool, you still missed it. Here, cool. There. Okay, you got that last piece of cheese? Good man. What else is here? Cole's very excited over this. All right. I'm gonna let Amber have one more try and then we're going to be done with it and Cole will have to try it another day. Cool. There you did, you missed some hot dog bowl. He knew he'd miss something. I'm gonna try this time with Amber, see if she can get the slide, not put any of these white tops on. They're not ready for that yet, but they're ready for the slide, that's for sure. So this is a bit of a learning experience for Cole and Amber and I. I filmed this one for Amber. I did all the slides back here. I put inside. I put, tried to give her more hot dog. She, I think, will go for more of the hot dog, but I did do a bit of cheese, smallish pieces in here. I'm going to set it down for her. I think Cole here is going to invade us, but we'll see. You stay. We try? We try again? Come on. You can have a turn if Ember doesn't get them all. Ember's going to try, though. Let's see if she can figure out how to slide it. Look, Ember. Look. Can you do this, Amber? That's a good girl. Take a push. Amber needs a little more coaxing because she's not as food motivated as Cole. She's still pretty food motivated, though. Maybe his nose. There, she got it. Maybe his nose is stronger because his hearing's not as good. I don't know. Hey, buddy. You good boy. That's a girl. Try another one. Look. Look at this. Look, Emmer. Oh, got that one over there. You do this one? Look. Oh, the liver is stuck underneath it. Good girl. Oh, she's figured it out. I don't think it would be take long for this puzzle. She probably need the next level. Probably if we did it, you know, once a week, it might take us a month. Or if we did it every day, it'd probably take us, you know, two, three weeks at the most, a couple of weeks, because she's certainly getting it. But I think it's definitely a fun activity, both of them. It's been rainy here. Today's our first beautiful day. Cool. <laughs> and this is our first day out. Okay. Oh, she did miss one. All right, you get it. Amber, who do you think won? Who was the best at the puzzle box? The brick dog brick. Cole? Yeah, I think Cole is the winner here. Competition, Cole. I think you did it. You were the best. You got every one. You even broke one. Looks like he's going to remove the whole thing. Cole, he just took the top off. Well, that's one way of doing it. He's efficient, right? Cole, he did a good job. Two thumbs up for Coley. Coley is a good boy. So in Cole's last go here, he took this lid off. They do seem to clap 
clasp on fine. It's not broken. I don't even see teeth marks in it, which I'm sure they could get to there, but I'm just gonna push it. I think they are meant to be removed. It seems to clip on fine. They all move quite easily, so I think it is designed for the dogs to pull those off. I'm gonna go in now and give this a little rinse under the sink, maybe a teeny bit of just kitchen soap. Give it a little clean, let it dry in the drying rack, and then I'll be ready for the next time. Uh, I would give it a little clean. He has really put a lot of spit on it. And any leftover cheese or um, hot dog wouldn't be good. We'll have to try this. I will put some string through these and see if I can jury rig something up so maybe it makes it easier for him. But so far, nobody's been able to take a top off. But else than that, they did a really great job. We really love this puzzle box and we'll be using it a lot more. It won't be sitting in its box anymore. Waiting to try, we'll be using it quite frequently. Cole is extremely excited. You can't even let me put it away, can you? No. Thank you for watching Ember and Cole's English Springer Spaniel Family Channel. Ember and Cole, what do you guys think? Do you like your little puzzle box? Your outward bound dog brick? What do you think, Ember? What do you think? <gasps> Two paws up again, you love it. Cole, what about, I think Cole loves it. I don't think we have asked if Cole loves it. He's going through all the motions that Ember just did, <laughs> making sure she didn't miss a crumb, I think. He is in love. I will have to do this with him a lot more. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and please hit the like button below. We'll be back with some dog show videos next and uh, hopefully some more grooming and some things like that. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.